Hello everyone and welcome into another episode of the Milwaukee Brewers franchise. Today we're going to be taking on the Colorado Rockies back in Milwaukee. Eric Lauer getting the start, 2.4 ERA over 101 innings pitch this season. He's had a really great season. You're going to see I don't do much of a great job holding up to it here. Chris Owings leading off of the Rockies, 2-2 pitch. He'll take that one and he'll bloop it right in front of Garcia in left field and he would get on to start this one with nobody out. Trevor Story up, runners on the corners, one out. That one would bounce off the foot of Lauer, scoring the runner from third. Two men would say on, but nothing would come of it as Jairo Diaz gets the start for the Rockies in this one. A 2.37 ERA over 57 innings pitched this season. Uh, it was originally supposed to be Chichi Gonzalez on the mound. However, I think he got injured. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start top of the first or bottom of the first one out. Alvisar Garcia goes gapping to start off this one as he'll get into second base with a double to open up this one. A pretty impressive uh, game for Alvisar Garcia. He would end up going two for four in this one. Keston Hira now fishing around for that slider as he'll send that one into the right center gap and he'll get into second with a double of his own. Scoring the run and tying this one up. Now, top of the second, Charlie Blackman up to lead off the inning. The 0-1 pitch as he'll take that one and send it into right center field. It would get down off the wall. Lorenzo Cain would get to it. And Blackman would pull into second with a double to start off this one. Ian Desmond up now. 1-0 pitch. Nobody out as that one would be sent into right field to put runners on the corner. Still no one out for Dom Nunez. Nunez takes the 0-2 pitch and he'll uh, pop it right up to Yelich in right field. Blackman would tag from third and Yelich's throw would only be to the pitcher Lauer and they wouldn't be able to get the runner out in time. Now two outs in the top of the second and then they would send that one into center field and it would score the runner all the way from second and so the Rockies now have a 3-1 lead in this one as Justin Smoke gets the Brewers back into this one. He sends that thing over the center field wall. It a 412 feet, Jesus Christ, 101 exit velo, his 13th home run of the season. Justin Smoke has had a very good year out of a first base position that we're not even sure about in the future right now. Nolan Arenado up to lead off the top of the third, and oh my God, he got all that pitch and then some. That fastball was just a little high and it just hanged right over for Arenado. Arenado's 23rd home run of the season, 101 exit velo, Jesus Christ, he smacked that thing. And now we're going to go ahead and go top of the fifth, one out, David Dahl up at the plate, Lauer still on the mound, and they, yeah, no doubt about that one. Back-to-back <laughs> -back jacks is what I'm going to show here. Jesus, the uh, Rockies just absolutely poured it on against us. You'll see in my rage right there that I skipped over the uh, the first home run cutscene. So we just get to bask in how good of a hit that was. And then uh, Eric Lauer getting angry there. Josh Lindblom would come on in the sixth inning with 3.1 ERA over 49 innings pitched this season. He's uh, an old man out of the bullpen, but he hasn't had a terrible year. As Daniel Murphy up at the plate, he would hit that one right through the shift, and he would get on first to open up this one. Nolan Arenado up at the plate now, and Arenado, Jesus Christ, he just continues his amazing game. As that one would get off the center field wall, into the hands of Lorenzo Kane. Kane's throw wouldn't be in time as the cutoff man. He just could not get that throw. Not enough arm strength to get the man out coming home on that one. So the Rockies take a 6-2 four-run lead. However, in the top of the seventh, Lindblom would settle down. He gets that strikeout, and then Ian Desmond up at the plate. He gets him swinging at the sinker ball. James Pazos would come on now for the Rockies, a 5.2 ERA, 32 innings pitched this season. Omar Nervai is up now in the bottom of the ninth to face him. He would bloop that one into left field to get on first. A little bit of a rally here brewing for the Brewers as Eric Sogard would send that one into center field. Two men on, two outs now in this one. That would bring up Scott Oberg. Oberg with a 2.9 ERA, 34 innings pitched, 30 saves and only 34 opportunities this season. I don't know why the Rockies just didn't start the inning with him. Brock Holt up now, Holt first pitch swing and he sends that one to the shortstop story. However, that would be all she wrote for this one. So the Brewers lose this one. They drop this one to the Rockies. A 6-2 game. Nolan Arenado had a really good game. He would end up getting player of the game honors with a home run and a double in this one. Overall, this is just not a good game for me. Uh, I didn't pitch very well. I wasn't like looking for my pitches when I was hitting well. Uh, so just not my uh, my best quality outing. 
But regardless, I hope you guys still enjoyed. There's going to be no monthly recap once again in this one. Uh, in the next episode, whenever it comes out, we are going to be going over the All-Star break. So all of the stats so far for our players and our prospects. Um, we're going to be looking at some of the All-Star voting, some of the league leaders, different things like that. And we're also going to be talking about some trades. So hopefully I can throw a trade in the title and try to get some views off of this thing. All right. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Adios.